everybody. What's going on? Give me one minute. I'm going to tie up my hair and then I'm going to put up a new playlist like I promised you guys. I did. I made a new playlist. Just give me one second and I'll throw it up. Uh, how are you guys feeling tonight? What are we thinking? I have an idea of what I want to do, but I'm not sure how it's going to, how it's going to flow. So we'll see. Um, but let me pull it up. New playlist. Uh, share. Copy link. Oh, hey, who's here, guys? Tell me who's here. I wasn't expecting, like, any of you were going to be here because of the holiday. So I'm pleasantly surprised right now. Ooh, can you guys link. hear that? Every time I, like, go into the Facebook to put up the playlist. All right. New playlist up. I wish I could see who... You guys gotta tell me who's here. Is Monica here? Is Sandy here? Is Sarah here? I'm really surprised. I genuinely, like, didn't think that it was gonna be a lot of people tonight because I was thinking Labor Day, you guys are gonna be doing stuff. But I guess it's also, like, one of those things, Labor Day, right? Like, you're going to work tomorrow, so I feel like most people just want to be chilling home. Um, okay, so I have an idea of what we're going to do. We'll see how that goes. I turned my air off, my air conditioning, and now I'm wondering if maybe I should put it on. But it is what it is. Let's get on our mats. If you have a block and you want to sit on the block, sit on the block. Um, I also just realized I'm wearing the same shirt from last week. I apologize. I did wash it. I just realized that it's, like, in the same video from last week. Um, all right. Get on your mat. Let's get moving. If you are playing my playlist, my new playlist, go ahead and hit play. I'm up on a block because I'm feeling a little sore this week. I don't know. I think I ate too much pasta. Uh, so hit that play button and start to come into yourself. Taking some deep breaths in, letting the breaths go. Let it be a fidgety initial sit if you need it to be. Bringing yourself back into the mat, or onto the mat, rather. Greeting your practice. Maybe it's been a few days since you've been on your mat. Maybe it's been since last Monday. That's okay. We all got a ton of stuff. So don't feel bad about how long it's been in between these moments on your mat, but be grateful for the fact that you are here now. I've always been super competitive with myself whenever I do a uh, exercise routine where I felt like if I took a day off, if I missed a day, it just didn't sit well with me. And I actually found that with my yoga practice, I was able to ease off that a little bit. Uh, and then with this whole quarantine, I noticed that I was getting really competitive with my yoga practice. I'd feel really guilty if I didn't make time for it in a day. So I just want to encourage you that everyone to not worry so much about the days that you miss, but be grateful for the days that you show up. Like today. In a class where I legitimately didn't think much of you were gonna make it, we are all here. So with gratitude, let's start this class. Gratitude for showing up. I am super grateful that you guys are here. We bring our hands to heart center and take a deep breath in. Exhale the breath out. Inhale the breath in. And exhale the breath out. Bringing hands down to our knees, eyes blink gently open. If you are on a block, go ahead and get off your block. And we're gonna bring our feet, we're gonna start off by bringing the feet to Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together. Lace your fingers, point your fingers out, open up the hands, bring the hands to your forehead. Look at that, you're a unicorn. Bring the hands to your toes and pull the chest forward. 
Take an inhale here, lift the chin, flat back, exhale, lower it down. And your, your diamond can be a little bit more narrow, it doesn't have to be super tight in. Take an inhale here, look forward, chin forward, exhale, lower down. One more time, inhale, chin up, flat back, exhale, lower. Send the legs out in front of you, inhale the arms up, exhale, bring those arms down. Wherever they land, don't worry so much about getting all the way to your toes and don't worry about lowering, we're not lowering. We're just easing into this. Inhale the arms all the way up, exhale, lower. This time as we slide in, we slide down. Bring your right leg in, circles in for one, two, and three. Circles out for one, two, and three. Bring it all the way up, puff your chest out. Puffing your chest up engages your core. Try not to curve in. Puff the chest out, flex the foot, and point. Flex the foot, and point. Flex the foot, and do a little bit of turning in the ankles. Turn one way, turn the other way. And now bring it all the way down as you lift yourself up. Bring that foot in, grab the outside of the foot, pull it back. Straighten forward, pull it back, straighten forward. Pull it back one more time and pull it forward. Good, now here I want you to grab onto your ankle. Pull your chest forward, lower down onto the shoulders. Lift the other leg up. Lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower all the way up. Use that momentum to pull you up. Set that foot onto your ankle, or not your ankle, your left knee, and lift in. Seated pigeon. Straighten out the left leg, step the right foot over onto the side of the left leg. I'm on the wrong side, so I'm going to flip over for you so you guys can see. Lowering down onto your left forearm, lift and lower that bottom leg. And one more time, good. Come all the way back up. Inhale the arms up, exhale the arms forward. Slide the arms up, exhale forward. So the arms all the way down, left leg comes in, circles in for one, two, three, and out for one, two, three. Beautiful. I kind of forgot what we did. Oh, I think we lifted up and we puffed down our chest and we turned in the ankle. We turned a little bit in the other direction and then we slid it up, brought ourselves up with it, bring that foot in. Elbows on the inside of the left knee, hands on the outside of the left foot. Lower down, pull the knee down. And up, pull the knee down. And up, pull the knee down. And up, stop here, grab the ankle. Puff the chest forward, lower down onto your shoulders. Right leg up, lower, up, lower, up, lower. Lower, ooh, pull yourself all the way up and lower. Bring that right ankle to the left, to the left ankle to the right knee. Slide the right foot up. You know the problem is, like when I move around on the mat, when I go back and forth, do you, well, you guys already know that I have a problem with actually staying the right side. But when I'm moving side to side and back and forth on the mat, it just throws me off even more. All right, straightening out the right foot, stepping the left foot down, coming down onto the right arm, lift and lower that bottom foot for three, four, five. Beautiful. Straighten yourself out, unhook the foot, inhale the arms up, exhale, pull through. Inhale the arms up, exhale, pull through. One more time, we reach the arms up, Exhale, pull through. Grabbing your right knee in your hands, lowering back down. Lift the left foot up. Hug the right knee in and switch. And switch. And switch. 
and switch. Lower the left leg down, lower the shoulders down. Take that right knee in the left hand, bring it over the left leg, right arm comes out, twist. Early twist here, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale, grab the right knee in the right hand, open it up to the right side, left arm comes out, look to the left, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale, hug the right knee in, send the right knee out, hug the left knee in, lift the shoulders up, lift the right leg up, and switch, 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 two more, and last one. Lower the right leg down, lower the shoulders down. Take the left knee in the right hand, bring it across the right leg, left arm out to the side. And bring it back in, switch sides into the left hand, open it up, right hand out to the side. And back to center, hug both knees into your chest. Three rock ups to stand. So we come up for one, up for two, release the hands all the way up into your chair, standing in your Tadasana. Arms come down at your sides. Oops, I'm like cut off. Sorry guys, I didn't realize that I was cut off. Here. Ah, shoot, maybe my thing was too. Give me a second, guys. fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Send the right leg back. Send the left leg back. Hold your plank. Lower down for four, three, two, one. All the way down. Slide the elbows through so that you are in sphinx. Lift up, lower down, lift up, lower down, lift up, lower down. Lower all the way down. Hands come out off the mat. Lift up, lower down, lift up, Lower down, lift up, lower down. Bring your hands into your chest, lift up to your regular cobra and hold. Inhale, exhale, roll the shoulders back, bend a little bit in the elbows, move the heart through. Inhale, exhale, lower all the way down, tuck the toes under, bring yourself up to your tabletop pose. Inhale into cow, exhale into cat. Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. Inhale into cow one more time. Exhale cat, come to a flat back, tuck the toes, lower down to your booty, move your arms forward. Sink the chest, keep the fingers lifted, or the palms lifted, the elbows are lifted, then the hands plant down, lift the knees up, down dog. And walk it all the way up to the top of the mat. Inhale, the arms are out and up. Exhale, send it all the way down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Bend one your bend your right knee and straighten, bend your left, and straighten, bend your right, and straighten, bend your left, and straighten. Send the right leg up. Look at your left leg. Bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. Bend and straighten, bring your right leg down. Left leg comes up, bend and straighten, bend and straighten, bend and straighten. Left foot comes all the way down, right foot comes back, lower four, three, two, one. Right arm comes out to the side, right ear comes down, left leg comes over. Roll it back to center, left arm comes out, right arm comes in, over to the right, or to the left, sorry. Back to center, tuck the toes under, seat comes back towards the heels. Lift all the way up, back into down dog. Now take your right foot, slide it all the way over to the left side of the mat. Left to the right, right to the left, left to the right, right to the left, and hold. Now swinging it backwards, right behind, left behind, right behind, left behind. 
and switch them out <laughs> so that they're straight. Now you're going to switch it so that your left leg is in front. So left goes first, right, left, right, and left all the way over and hold. And inhale, your arms run up all the way at the top, hands come down and cross your legs. Inhale, your arms run and up. Exhale all the way down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Step the right leg back, step the left leg back, bring the knees down, tabletop. Right leg out to the side and down. Right leg out and down. Right leg out and hold, circles one, two, three, and back. One, two, three. Hold it high, open up the leg and bend, open, and bend, open, and bend. Open it, point down, lift, point down, lift, point down, bring it all the way in. Left side, one, two, three, hold, circles in, one, two, three, back for one, two, three, hold out to the side, open, close, open, Close, open, tap down and lift, tap down and lift, tap down and lift. Bring it into the outside of the left hand, low lizard. You can come up onto the back toes if you want to lift the knee, because I know it's early, so that might be a lot. So you can come up high first. Bend the back knee, straighten the front, come forward and back, come forward and back, come forward, bring that left foot out to the side, lift the back knee up, come forward into your lulasana. I know, we're like right in it today. I want to get your legs warmed up for what we're going to do. Inhale all the way up to the top of the mat, bring your right leg with you, circles in one, two, three, and back, one, two, Three. Take that right foot, hug it in. Take the right leg or the right knee in the right hand and open it up. And bring it back forward, lower it down. Left leg comes up, circles in for one, two, three, and circles out for one, two, three. Bring it forward and hug. Bring it out to the side. Good. Bring it back and down. Inhale, your arms around and up. Exhale, you can get one dive or you can bring your pair down, whatever you want to do. Step the left leg out to the side. Bring the right hand to the inside of the right foot. Low lunge on the right. Good. Lower the back knee. Straighten the front foot and come forward. Back. Come forward. Back. Come forward, bring the right knee back into your tabletop. Left leg opens, tuck your back toe down, dog with the leg lifted. Look at your fingertips or your thumbs, hop your foot there. Keep that foot lifted out to the side. Whoa, lift up, I know we haven't done this one in a while. Swing it around into awkward chair. I apologize, I like pulled that one out of nowhere. I didn't know what I was gonna do with it until it happened. And come back up, bring it forward, send it back. Hold your warrior three for five, four, three, two, one. Lower the foot down, high lunge. Lower three, lower two, lower one. Untuck the back toes, Anjanasana, look back. And bring it forward, lean forward, untuck the toes, roll it back. Come forward, back, forward, and back. Come forward, right leg comes out. Same sequence, opposite side. And then we take a break, okay? <laughs> right leg comes out to the side. Tuck your back toes under, lift up. 
and look at the space between your thumbs. Bend your left knee, hop forward. Keep that right leg lifted. But slight bends in the left knee will help you to come up and maintain your balance. Keep it out to the side, swing it around, bring it on to the left knee. Whoa. Lower down. Good. Should have put the air on, I'm starting to die. And all the way up, take that right foot, send it back. Hold your warrior three for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower it down, high lunge for three, two, one. Stay down, Anjanasana, look up. And lower it down, pull your weight forward, exhale, lean back. Pull your weight forward, stretching right here, and then come back. One more time, pull your weight forward, straighten it out, slide the left leg back, knees are together, or knees are apart, toes are together, lower down into your child's pose. Take a breath in your child's pose or grab some water. I'm turning the air on. <laughs> okay. Walk yourselves back, quick wrist pair. Um, sorry, lace the fingers together, up and down, roller coaster, and the other way. Good, shake it out, up and down, and then take those hands, take the tops of the hands, bring it to the rib cage, squeeze the elbows back, send the chest forward, push the elbows behind you, inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Bring your hands down to the mat, fingertips towards your feet, uh, in the insides of the elbows pointed out, and kind of move a little bit here. Come off that, flip the hand, fingertips back towards the knees, pushing the tops of the hands into the ground. Beautiful. Okay, you guys ready? Was that a good break? Hands come down. Down dog. Let's do left leg comes up and high. Bend the right knee and straighten. Bend the right knee and straighten. Bend the right knee and straighten. Take that left leg. Bring it to half the left tricep and back. Twist, tap the right tricep and back. Bring it all the way knee to nose and back up. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Look forward, bring that left leg to the space between your hands, back foot turns, inhale up, warrior two. It was bad to do this, I just need to cut my bum. Okay. <laughs> warrior two. Good. Turn your left toes towards the wide edge of the mat. So both your toes are facing the wide, the same side of the mat. Lower down towards the left. Ninja squat. Walk it over to the right. Ninja squat. Walk it over to the left. Walk it over to the right. Walk it to the middle. Heel toe the feet in a little bit so that you're in like a wide lalasana. Now you're in goddess pose, but don't go too deep into your goddess pose. I find it really hard to lift my feet when my goddess pose is like way out wide. So it's like half between your warrior two and your lalasana. Okay, lift the right toes, lower, left, lower, right, lower, left, lower, full. Lower, both. Lower, both, and hold. Lift that. Good, hold for five, four, three, two, one. Keep the heels lifted, reach all the way up. Lower the left toes, the right, the left toes. Right toes out to the side, warrior two. Good. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, twist it back to the center, hands come to the hips, inhale, look forward, lead your 
chin coming forward, 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 hands come down. Taking your peace finger, so your hands can come to the middle of the mat, or you can take those peace fingers, bring them around the big toe. Your other option, only if you have this in your practice, is to bring your head down and go into your inversion. Only if you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, don't worry about it, you're just stretching. Okay, heel toe those feet even closer, staying in a forward fold. Now, hands come more towards the left side. Weight is in the, light, the left foot. Right toes come out to the side. Lift, lower, lift. Lower, one, two, three. Bring it all the way in. Weight comes over to the right side. Left toes come out for five, four, three, two, one. Hold this time. See if you can bring your hands to your hip. Good. Nice. Now bring it in. Stand up. Swing it around. I know, we're working those hips today. Okay, bring that right toe or that left toe down to the side. Lower into your cow face. We gotta open up the hips a lot today. Come forward here, tuck the toes under, lift the knees, walk it back. And untuck. Weights on the left foot, right toes come out, right toes lift up, bend it in. Or actually keep it straight, sorry I lied. Lift the hands to the hips, this side's my weaker side I think. Bend it in, swing it all the way through, awkward chair. Good. Slide it down to the other side. Cow face on the... I guess you're moving to the left because the right leg's in front. Hands come forward. Tuck the toes under. Walk it back. And step back into your down dog. Right leg up and high, left leg bend, one, two, three, keep it high and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Bend it in, tap the right tricep and back. Twist, tap the left and back. Bring it into center and up. Look at the space between your thumbs. Step your right foot there, good. Lower the back knee. Walk the right leg out to the side of the mat. Low lizard. And now maybe you're here already like you are starting to warm up where you can lower the arms down. I'm going to invite you to come out to the outside of the right foot and push out because we really want to open up that hip. Good. Coming back to center, lean forward. Tuck your toes, come back, come forward and back. One more time, come forward and back. Move forward, come into your lalasana. So, lalasana prep. Right toes are at a 45 degree angle, back knee comes up all the way forward. Good, hands come down, straighten the, the legs, forward fold. Heels come in, lower down lalasana. Hands come down, straighten out the feet. One more time, we bring the heels in, Lalasana. Hands come down, right leg steps back, low lizard on the left side. Lower the knee down, lower the forearms down, come out to the outside of the left foot, push down on the knee. Gentle, gentle, you're not like slamming your knee down.
Beautiful. Coming all the way back up. Slide the left leg back. Down dog. Lift the right leg up. Bend the right knee. Circles in for one, two, three. Circles out for one, two, three. Take that right toe. Start to open it up. Open up the hip. Turn towards the left. Come all the way back. Woo. Sliding. Good. Lower the hips down. Bring that right leg in front of you. Ah, so pretty. No, we don't have to do that. We can just be here. I'm trying to like find footing so I don't flip. But lift the hips up again. Lower them down. One more time. Lift the hips. Plant the left foot. Spin the right leg over. Good. Knees come down. Child's pose. I feel like I'm sneaking a lot of stuff on you guys tonight. It's just coming out of nowhere. I know. Look at the space between your hands. Slide your chest through. Hands come forward and lift. Right leg up, or right arm up, sorry. Left arm up, right up, left arm up. Spread them wider like your mat's distance apart. Inhale up and lower, up and lower, up, lower, up, lower. Bring the elbows underneath the shoulders. Lifts up and lower, up, lower, up. Lower. Come all the way down. Hands come to the outside. Up. Lower. Up. Lower. Up. Lower. Bring the hands into the chest. Plant the palms. Lift up to your cobra. And lower it all the way down. Uh, tuck the toes under. Seat comes back towards the heels. Lift up. Down dog. Left leg comes up and high. Bend your left knee. Circles in for one, two, three. And back for one, two, three. Open up the left hip. Start to bring the left toes down towards the right. And back. Lower down. Straighten the right foot. Lift up. And down. And lift up. Ah, my shoulder. And twist all the way back. Sorry, I had to come out of that. I was on my shoulder wrong. Knees come down. And child's pose. Come forward into a uh, forearm plank. Sorry, I forgot the word was. Lift the right leg up. Lower. Lift the left leg up. Lower. Jump the feet out. Jump the feet in. Jump the feet out. Jump the feet in. Jump the feet out. Jump the feet in. Lift your right leg. Bring it forward. Tap your tricep. Send it back and down. Lift the left leg up. Tap your tricep. Back. Down. Lower the chest. Sphinx. I guess sweating. <laughs> We're going to take the right foot. Bring it in. Right hand goes back. Quad stretch. And switch sides. And lower it down. Bring those forearms in close. Lift up. Right leg comes up. Back. Or in. Back. Sorry. Left leg comes up. In. Back. And down. Right leg comes up. In. Back. And down. Left leg comes up. In. Back. And down. Come back into your sphinx. Lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. Slide the hands back. Plant the tops of the feet into the mat. Hands are at your chest. Inhale, push up, lift your knees too, up dog. Turn over your toes into your down dog. Right leg comes up and high. To the tricep, back, down. Left leg comes up, to the tricep, back, down. Right leg comes up, bend the arms this time, and come in. Back, down. Left leg comes up, bend the arms this time, back, down. Knees come down, 
come off those rips. Almost there, guys. I hope you guys are feeling warmed up. That was the idea of today, was that I was really trying to warm you guys up to make what we're going to try to do today um, a little bit easier in terms of flexibility. So quick little wrist care. Slitting over onto one side of the heels, slide your legs forward. Inhale the arms up, exhale the arms come down. As you slide in, right ankle comes to the left, back into your reclined pigeon. Seated pigeon, I guess, it's not really reclined. Lowering down onto your backs. Now it's reclined pigeon. Thread that needle through so the right hand comes right through that figure four and you bring your left knee in. Holds for three, two, one. Lift the shoulders out, send the left leg out. Your hands can be wherever you want them to be. Doesn't really matter. Bend it in and out. Bend it in and out. Bend it in, step it down. Hands come down, lift the hips lower, lift the hips lower, lift the hips, lower it down. Now you're gonna take your right hand and your right knee, left leg comes back out, and switch, and switch, and switch. Grab your right leg, go for that ankle again, help it to pull you all the way up. Take your left leg, bring it over onto the right knee, back into your seated pigeon. How are you guys feeling? I know this one was a hustle. I didn't really plan for it to be this much of a hustle, but you guys are doing amazing. All right, lowering down onto your forearms, into your reclined pigeon. So you take that left arm, thread it through that figure four, pull the knee in. Lift the shoulders up, arms come out, straighten the leg, pull it in. Straighten the leg, pull it in, straighten the leg, pull it in, foot comes down, hands come down, shoulders come down, lift the hips, lower, lift the hips, lower, lift the hips, and lower. Bring the right leg, or the left leg, sorry, in, switch, 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 left ankle into the hands, use that, pull you all the way back up, cross the legs, back into, uh, you can lower down for a minute, into the sphinx. Right arm comes out to the side, right ear comes down, spatulas on the right. And left arm comes out, spatula on the left. And back, pushing into tabletop. Okay. Right leg comes back, or left leg, sorry, straighten it. Bring it into the tricep. Back, in, back, in. Bring it to the outside, bring it to the inside. Outside, inside, one more time. Outside, inside, down. Right leg comes out. Bring it in, and out, in, out, in, outside, inside, outside, inside, one more time, outside, inside, down. All right. So we're here, we're at the thing. Okay, now, I actually forgot what the name of it is called but I'm gonna look it up as soon as this class is done and I'll put it in the comments. Um, there's a couple key things to this pose. So sit on your heels, grab some water, and listen up. All right, now, watch first, listen to directions, and then you can try it. So I like to actually start it from the down dog. 
different people have different philosophies about it. Some people like to start it from like a tabletop with the bent arms. I just find that I get more momentum when I start it from a down dog. So I come into my down dog. I lift my right leg up and I bend it. As I move forward, my arms come into chaturanga. Okay, now let me explain this. When your arms come into chaturanga, you might have to do some shifting because it helps if this opposite arm rests on your rib cage. So your rib cage, like kind of how like when we do, um, you know, that side curl, remember it's the same idea as using that shelf to support the side body, right? So that's why I guess for some people it's a little bit harder coming in from down dog because there's a little bit more adjusting happening. Um, when you start from tabletop, you can kind of like gain where you need to be a little bit better, but I find it a little bit more challenging. So kind of play with it, see which one works better for you. So, down dog. Right leg comes up. As you move into your chaturanga, you lean in to the left arm holds the body, and then the right knee goes onto the right arm shelf. Yeah? You see? Yeah? <laughs> it's like it's, it's an intense arm balance for sure. You can also play around with like, let me do it from this angle so you guys can see it a little bit better. Um, let me see if I can even do it from this side. Left leg comes up. See, it's like a shorter down dog for sure. And then you bend the arms. I meet this side first before I start to bring this leg in. So I find, I find my rib cage first, and then I bring my left leg through. Once I know that I have balance, I work on lifting the opposite leg up. Whew. It is hard, I know, it is no joke. But a lot of fun stuff can come as a result of that pose. Like there's a lot of fun transitions. Moving into lizard, moving into like spreading the legs, switching it back, chaturanga, like a bunch of cool stuff. So, try it. I'm gonna do it one more time on each side. You guys can give it a go. And then as always, tell me what you had problems with so then I can get back to you guys and we can kind of work through Because like I said, it's super hard when I can't see you. Um, if some of you want to take a video and then send it to me later so I can see like where you're at, where you might need to like adjust or something that might make the pose a little bit easier. Um, I mean, it's not an easy pose. I'm not gonna try to pretend that it is. But I think that we've done a lot of work, uh, especially in these virtual classes. So I think you guys will be surprised with what you're actually able to get into. Okay. So right leg goes up. Step those hands in a little bit closer. Bring yourself into your chaturanga. Meet your left side first. Then the right knee comes up. Then you lift the left. See, and then that's like the foot's almost there, so you're already in a high lizard. Does that make sense? That's kind of what I was telling you. Okay, I'm going to do one more side on the left side. And then we move on. How was it? I wish I could like... Okay, I'm going to try the left side one more time, and then we'll go. Down dog, left leg up, walk the hands in a little bit closer, find the left side, find the knee, and then find your balance. Woo! And lower. Woo! You really only get a couple of tries before it's game over. So when you are done with your attempts, Big toes come together, knees go wide, child's pose. Give yourself a clap for trying it, for making it to this far into class. Simple balance pose, and then we bring it all the way down. Tuck the toes under, down dog, walk the feet in and curl all the way up. All right, not too crazy on this one, just practicing our core balance. We did the hard thing, just 
this is just a normal drills and scales tree pose. So we're going to plant our feet, lift those toes up so you can spread the toes wide and lower them back down. Lift the toes up, spread them wide, lower them down. Lift the toes up, spread them wide, lower them down. Hands come to your hips, right toes up to the side. Point and lower, point and lower, point and bring it in. Now when you do tree pose, I know most of you know this, but I'm going to say it just for the sake because I don't know who's on the call or the, on the video. You always either come above the knee or below the knee. If you're really working on your balance and you need that little kickstand, bring it down. Bring the toes down, and as you gain better and better balance, lift it higher, higher, and then above the knee. The only place you don't stay is where? On the knee. Why? Because you will blow the knee out. The amount of pressure that you're putting on the inside of that knee is not good for the knee. So you're above it or you're below it. Okay, I know we've been here for a little while, so just hold it for a couple more seconds. If you are working on your balance and this is a challenge for you, stay here. If you are here and you've been working on this for a while, close your eyes. Yeah, right? Whole new pose. All right, bring that right leg down. Lift the toes, lower the toes. Lift the toes, lower the toes. Lift the toes, lower the toes. Left toes out to the side. Point and lower, point and lower, point. Bring it in, same thing. Below the knee, above the knee, never on the knee. And if you are working on balance, this is a perfect place to be. This is challenging. If your balance has not been worked on ever, this is where you want to be. Holding it here. Taking a few breaths. As I said, where you are in your, your yoga journey is where you are. So if you've done this and you're like, yeah, I know, we've been doing three for a while, Close your eyes. And you suddenly realize that what that balance that you thought you had goes away. And you start all over again. Good. And all the way down. Inhale, the arms round up. I'm actually going to come this way. Ugh. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale it all the way down. Step the right leg back, step the left leg back, down dog. Hold your down dog for a couple of breaths here. Maybe your heels are still up high. Send the chest back, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Let's do one more inhale. And then exhale, we reach our right leg up high and we bring it through to our pigeon. Now in pigeon pose, the right knee comes behind the right wrist. The right ankle comes more towards the left hip. If your right hip is up really high, you can grab something, a blanket, a pillow, a block, a book, anything to make this pose a little bit more accessible, a little bit more comfortable. Breathe here, inhale, exhale. Hopefully this doesn't feel too awful today. We did a lot of work in the hips, so this should feel a little bit more possible, maybe, than it usually does. Walk your arms forward. Lower the forehead down. Walk the hands all the way back up, lean over onto the right hip, swing the left leg forward, hug the right leg in. Step the right leg to the outside of the left foot, inhale the arms up, twist towards the right. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Let's give it one more inhale here, full twist. And exhale. Now lower that right knee on top of the left knee. Inhale the arms up. Exhale the arms down. Once again, they don't have to be far. The goal is not to get to the toes. The goal is to simply feel the stretch. So wherever your hands need to be to feel the stretch, that's where you are today.
bring that right leg back to the other foot. Inhale the arms up. Exhale the arms down. Slide the arms in. Inhale the arms up. Exhale the arms down. Slide the feet together for Baddha Konasana one more time. Sole to the feet together. Lace the fingers. Point your fingers out. Open up the hands. Bring them to the toes. Lift the chin. Lower the chest. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift the chin. Exhale, lower the chest. Sit all the way up. Crisscross the legs. Pull yourself through. Meet me in down dog, however you need to get there. Left leg comes up and high. Bend the left knee. Pigeon pose on the left side. Left knee is to the left wrist. Left foot is to the right hip. See, because now you can see it on that side. Same thing, if the hip is high, go ahead and put whatever you need to under there to prop you up, to make you comfortable. Hold yourself tall for a few breaths before we lower our chest down. Walk yourself all the way back up. Weight is over onto the left side. Right leg sweeps up and forward. Step the left leg outside of the right leg. Right arm comes up. Grab the knee. Twist to the left. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And one more inhale. Full exhale. We turn back. We lower the left knee onto the right knee. Straighten yourself up. Inhale the arms up, exhale lower down. Walk the hands all the way back up. Release the left leg so you're back in your uh, stack pose. Bring the hands down to the hips. Take a moment to pull the chest forward. Lift the chin. Roll the shoulders back. Sit nice and tall. Inhale. Exhale. Flex those feet. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale. Reach the arms up. Lower them down. See if you finally are able to make a little bit of a further connection here. Inhale the arms up. Exhale the arms down. Maybe not too far though because we did a lot of hip stuff. We didn't do a lot of the back of the leg stuff. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale down. This time we slide the feet back with us. Baddha Konasana. Last Baddha Konasana. So you can either bring the feet in really close or you can bring the feet out wide. Whatever you prefer. Whatever feels better in your practice this evening. Lace the fingers, chest moves forward, and then down. Squeeze the shoulder blades back so you have a flat back. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Let's do one more inhale. And then exhale, you come all the way up. Step the soles of the feet down onto the mat. I'm going to spin one more time for you. Or for me, really. And then we lower it all the way down onto our back. Soles of the feet are planted into the ground. Hands are planted into the mat. Inhale, lift the hips up. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, lift the hips up. Maybe this time you stack the hands underneath the bottom. Lift the hips higher and higher. Exhale, lower it all the way down. This last one is for you, so you might want to go all the way up and grab the ankles, or you can lace the fingers or whatever you want to do. So inhale, we come all the way up. I'm going to demonstrate what lacing the fingers looks like. Sliding your shoulders or your arms in. Lifting the hips higher and higher. And as high as you can go, release the hands, lower the hips down. Hug the knees into the chest. Sway a little side to side, releasing the lower back. 
Step the soles of the feet onto the mat. Let your knees drift or windshield wiper side to side. Hug the knees in, keep the right to you, lower the left down. Take the right knee in the left hand, bring it across the left side of the body, gaze comes over to the right. Final twist here. Notice if this one feels a little bit more open than the one we did early on. And back in, switch hands over into the right, open it up. Take that right foot, bring it onto the left ankle or the right knee. One last time we thread that needle. Pull it in close. Bring those knees together. Take the right foot in the left hand, the left foot in the right hand, reclined cow face. If you can't keep if you can't get to the feet, you can grab the shins, that's fine. Hug the knees together, send the right leg out, hug that left knee in. Pass it over into the right hand, let it cross the body, left arm comes out, gazes over to the left side. Bring it over into the left, pass it off to the left, gazes to the right. And hug it in and then you bring that left ankle onto the right knee bring the right knee in last time reclined pigeon zip your knees together grabbing the left foot in the right hand the right foot in the left hand and hold Last time we hug both feet together, lower the feet down. One last time with windshield wipering the legs side to side. And then stretching the feet out. Now if you're in your own space and you wanna take up some more space, please go ahead, take up all the space that you want. Bring the feet to the outer corners of your mat and then make some movements in your ankles. So point and flex those feet. Turn them in, turn the ankles out, and then release the feet. Bring your hands down to your sides and curl your fingers in, flex them open. Same thing, a little bit of motion in your wrists before releasing your hands down at your sides. Take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale out. Deep breath in and exhale out. Now you can keep yourself open as wide as you want, or you can move into a different mudra. So if you wanna bring your hands down to your belly, please feel free to bring your hands down to your belly. Take a deep inhale through the nose and fill the belly. Deep inhale in and fill the lungs. Deep inhale all the way to the top, hold your breath, and then release the body as you release the breath. One more time, deep inhale into the belly. Deep inhale into the lungs. Deep inhale and hold at the top, release the body. Allow yourself to drift off into your savasana. These next few moments are for you to enjoy your practice, to feel the benefits of your practice. Let yourself go.
slowly in your own time, begin to draw breath back into the body, wiggling the fingers and wiggling the toes. Stretch your hands above your head, stretch your feet out long, and allow your entire body to stretch out along the floor on your mat. And then hug your knees into your chest, curl your arms around your shins, hugging your knees in close. When you feel ready, you can rock over onto your favorite side and use the forearm of that side as a pillow for your head. Bring your opposite arm across your body and use the opposite hand to push into the ground to help seat you up to a seated posture. Bringing your hands onto your knees, palms facing up, take a deep inhale here. Exhale the breath out. Hands come to Njali Mudra, deep breath in. Exhale out. Bow down to your mudra, bowing to yourself. Bowing to yourself for showing up. Bowing to yourself for making it through that class. Bowing to yourself for trying and for not giving up. And just as always for showing up. The light within me bows the divine light in each one of you. Thank you so much for allowing me to guide you through your Monday night practice. Namaste. Namaste, you guys. Thank you so much. Hello, Anthony. Welcome, welcome. Um, I hope you guys had a good class. I know that was, like, really hard. As I said, like, send me a picture or a video or um, comment anything that you might have needed help with, and uh, I can give my advice, my input, so we can make that pose work, so we can start doing transitions from there. Uh, as always, you guys are wonderful. I will see you next Monday. And